everyone, welcome back to my channel, Unicorns and Typewriters. In today's video, I am back with another exciting Alcrate unboxing. So as you can tell, I'm not in my normal filming location, but that is because I am in the process of moving, which I've mentioned in a couple of my previous videos. So I hope that you don't mind. I used to film a lot of my Alcrate unboxings in this room, actually. Um, so it's kind of nostalgic to be back, but soon my bookshelves will be set back up and I will also show you guys a video of that process and I will be back to filming in my usual location, which is in front of my beautiful bookshelves. But for today's video, I really wanted to unbox the April Owl Crate box. I'm really excited to open this one up and share it with you all. Let's get started. Ooh, oh no. The little card got bent, which makes me sad because these are so cute. I've always thought about like framing them or something, but it is really cute. The theme is peek behind the curtain, which I think is a really fun theme. And so we've got the spoilers here, but I'm not going to look at them too closely yet. It definitely is giving me like Phantom of the Opera vibes. So I'm really excited to see what is inside. So the first item right on top is obviously some coffee. So this is from Bones Coffee Company. We've gotten this before, like Alcrate often uses this company for the coffee and I really like it because it's a really big bag and I'm really excited to try this one. So it says Bones Coffee Company presents Angel of Music Chocolate Eclair. Oh, that sounds so good. So it's a small batch, medium roast. It's an Alcrate exclusive. And yeah, it's got this like really cute, like fan of the opera themed picture on it. So yeah, and the back has their little cute design on it. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, if you wanna follow my Instagram, I will try to post about how it is there. The link as always for my Instagram is in the description. So yes, now let's see, I'm excited. I see something unusual on top and I wanna see what this is. I don't really know what this is. It's like a silicone sleeve, but it closes it looks like, like that maybe. But it says the conquering circus presents where the stage tells a story, spectacular and legends are born. And at the bottom it says Glorian. So maybe this is a reference to the book in here, or it could be to another book series I haven't read yet, but it is really interesting. It doesn't stay closed very well, so I'm not really sure what this is for, but we will look at the spoiler card at the end and find out. Next, we have our literary luggage pin, which they are doing monthly for this year. So this is number four of 12. The first three I have really, really liked because they were all for books that I've read and really enjoyed. So I'm excited to see which one this is. Okay, so this one is inspired by the Night Circus. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is adorable and it's by Hey Atlas Creative, which is a company they've also definitely worked with before. This is really, really cute. So I actually have not read The Night Circus yet. This is a book that's on my list to definitely try to read this summer because it's something that I've been wanting to read for a really, really long time. But this pin is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really impressed by it. That's so pretty. So now we have this little box that says, for finding dreams that don't exist yet, which is really fun. I definitely like that as a quote. I hope you guys can see that well. And then let's see what is inside. Oh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted one of these. So this is like a wax seal. So you can use it to make seals. So it's got the little stamp. Let's see what, oh, this is too cute. So we have wax, which is obviously really pretty colors. We've got this beautiful pink and darker pink. And then the stamp itself, it looks like is a fox with a little moon and stars and an apple with like a key with like a keyhole. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it is so, so cute. Like I'm really impressed by this. I can't wait to try this out. Also keep an eye on my Instagram because I'm definitely gonna try this on something. I actually have a friend I've been wanting to send mail to and um, seems like a really perfect excuse to use this. So much fun. Oh, so is this, explaining what this is. This says it's Alcrate Spectacular. Yeah, that's what this is, Spectacular. So it must be for this. 
I'll create spectacular souvenir popcorn holder. So this is for popcorn. Oh my gosh, so you can pop popcorn in this. That is so awesome. It says you can scoop the kernels into the holder, close the flaps completely, and then place in the microwave and heat until the popping stops. Dishwasher safe, 100% food safe silicone material. And it's designed with love by Lichen and Limestone. So, ooh, that's actually really fun because I love popcorn. <laughs> so I really wanna try this out. I am excited to give this a try. That's so cute. Okay, and then we've got a big box here. I wonder what this is. Of course, as always, their boxes have these adorable designs on them. On the back, it says, the circus arrives without warning. Craving a visit to the wondrous Le Cirque de Raves? We want to help you add a bit of dreaminess to your decor with this clock inspired by the night circus. So it's a clock and it's designed with love by no one is what it says there. You can see their little symbol and design. And so let's check it out. I'm pretty pumped actually about this. I love it when there's stuff I can use in everyday life in these boxes because it just it's just such a nice thing to add little bookish magic to your everyday life. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I definitely want to set this up and hang it up in my room. This is adorable. I absolutely love it. Yes. Very, very excited about this. It just needs, it looks like one battery in here and yeah. I'm gonna get this set up real soon and hang it up in my room. It is so pretty. Now I'm really inspired to read The Night Circus this summer. I absolutely have to do it. Let's see what we've got. Oh, and it looks like we have a mouse pad. Oh my gosh, I actually like want one of these. So this is amazing because I've been thinking about getting a keyboard for my laptop. Like I keep seeing all these people with these extra like fancy like clickety keyboards and it's been on my mind, so now knowing I have a mouse pad ready for when I have that and a mouse, which I haven't had in quite a few years, I've generally just been using laptops without like an extra mouse, but I used to, and I do miss that. So anyway, it says outside things may be tragic, but in here we feel it's magic. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty though. Look at this, it's like a windmill with roses and feathers and a moon and clouds. That's like so, Gorgeous. I really, really love this. I'm very excited about that. And then let's see, it looks like we've got the book now. So this book is called Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. That's a gorgeous cover. Let me get this plastic off so you guys can see it better. And we've also got the author letter on the back. So here we have the book and the author letter, which has the front cover on it as well. And then it's just so beautiful. It's such a nice like matte, but like gorgeous cover. We've got the back. It looks like the back just has some quotes from other authors. Let's see what, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Wow. Okay, so let me take off this cover. Oh, cause it looks like we've got artwork on the inside of the cover as well. So the edges are plain. We don't have anything fancy there, but this looks really beautiful. It says, greetings, traveler. And then we've got the title on the spine. And then on the back, we have farewell traveler. So that is really fun. I like that. I like this kind of shiny look. It reminds me of like library book editions, but I do like it. And then we've got this gorgeous end paper. Oh my gosh, it's like beautiful foiled end paper. This is so pretty. And then it is in fact signed. And I like that she used fun like hot pink ink to sign it. And the end paper is here as well. That's absolutely gorgeous. And then it looks like, yeah, we also have the end paper on the back as well, which is so pretty. I am definitely a huge fan of the design of this book. And then on the inside of the cover, it looks like we have some artwork. That's so pretty. Okay, I had to take a quick peek. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm so excited about this. This is beautiful. It's definitely making me really excited to read the book because it looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and the characters already look interesting to me. There's like a glowing gold bird. I mean, I don't know what is not to like about this. I'm very excited. <laughs>
And then let's take a look in here. Let's take a look. We've got our little book here that has the same design as the spoiler card. And we've got a little interview with the author. Okay, so here is the difference between the books. So our version is got the turquoise and pink, and it looks like the version you'll see on shelves has more pink. So that is definitely really exciting. I love both editions, but I'm pretty excited about the Alcrate one. I definitely think it stands out, which I enjoy. So we also have some other book suggestions, a design with one of the vendors, and we've got our photo challenge, which I am definitely going to take part in this month. It's been a little on and off with the photo challenge for me just because I've been so busy packing and moving, but I really do wanna take part this month, so I will definitely be doing that. So please check out my Instagram, link down in the description to see what I come up with for some exciting photos of these items and the book. The next item in the box is the card for the theme of the May box, which is the chosen ones which looks really exciting. I like seeing some dragons and female archers and a female knight, it looks like. So I'm kind of pumped about that. Let's see, and then they also say that every May box will include an exclusive item designed by Blissfully Bookish Co. So that is really exciting. The item picture looks like a little case for a like hand sanitizer, which is kind of fun. So who knows what that will be, but it looks like they do kind of like leather-like products. So that should be pretty fun. So I am rather excited for that. Now let's check out the spoiler card here and see what this says. So I wanna see what it says about a couple items. So let's see, the wax seal kit was designed by Paperback Bones and Lady Chub Letters. Transform all your written correspondence into special deliveries with this Once Upon a Broken Heart inspired wax seal kit. So that is a book I have not read yet, but I would like to, I've heard such good things about it. So then let's see. So the, the Bones Coffee Co. is Phantom of the Opera inspired, which I got the idea of from the design on the front. They say that <laughs> you won't need to turn your face away from the garish light of day once you've had a cup of this delicious chocolate eclair flavored brew. So that's definitely very exciting. And then let's see, we talked about the wall clock already. It is definitely gorgeous. So I'm really excited to do something with that. We talked about the popcorn maker, which is really exciting, or a popcorn holder, but you could make popcorn in it, which is really cool. And then let's see, oh, the mouse pad is inspired by Moulin Rouge, so that actually makes sense. And it was designed by Forensics and Flowers. And then let's see, yeah, we already talked about the pin. And so what they have to say about the book here is that it is a must read for fans of Caravel and The Night Circus, which are two books that I have and need to read. So I will be getting on that this summer and reading this one as well. They say this decadent and darkly enchanting YA fantasy set against the backdrop of a Belle Epoque inspired hotel follows 17 year old Jenny as she uncovers the deeply disturbing secrets of the legendary Hotel Magnifique. So our signed edition features a glow in the dark exclusive cover and artist Gemlin C created a dreamy scene to serve as a reversible dust jacket. So that definitely sounds really cool. I'm pretty excited. I don't feel like that told us like a lot about the book, but a general kind of vibe. So I am really excited to see what this is all about. It definitely sounds really intriguing. So I hope that you all enjoyed watching this unboxing. Please like this video if you did. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of the items in this box and the book that it came with. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I will be back with another new video soon. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. Bye!